is Jeff Poppin, and I uh, write and produce TV show under the name Barefoot Farmer. I run a biodynamic farm which uses the principle of uh, that the farm is a self-contained individuality. Everything we need for the production of fruits and vegetables and meats come from within the farm itself. We raise cattle on hay land and, and grassland. We make the hay, feed the hay to them during the winter. We make manure piles that turn into compost piles that we inoculate with uh, herbal preparations. And then we use that compost to grow the vegetables. It's about eight acres of vegetables and makes about 150,000 pounds of produce every year which are then shipped to Nashville to about 150 families, which are members of our community-supported agriculture program. About 450 feet from where I'm sitting, which is the, the back doorstep of my house, there is a Tyson's chicken house being built. Uh, it's for Cobb Van Tress, which grows the breeders. It's actually the grandparents of the broilers that we eat. And we are very concerned because I am downstream, down the hill, and downwind from the potential of 40,000 chickens. Now, recently they've dropped that number from 40,000 to 37,500 so that they don't have to get an EPA permit, which apparently they were having a hard time getting. Because the Long Hungry Creek, which is only 800 feet from this facility, or this proposed facility, I should say, the Long Hungry Creek is recognized by the Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation as being an exceptional water of Tennessee because of the biological diversity and the crystal clear, uh, pristine waters. It's very spring-fed and, and a cold creek, and it has a lot of really beautiful wildlife uh, in it and around it. Uh, we're concerned about the spring, which is about 300 feet from the proposed facility, about our cave, where we cool all of our vegetables, uh, like the lettuce and, and cucumbers and such, which is about 500 feet from the proposed facility. And we're concerned also about the people that come here to visit this farm, uh, as in just people that are interested in, in visiting and or uh, the, the interns, these are students over here of mine that are uh, come here to, to, to live and work and learn how to grow their own food. And there seems to be a growing movement of people wanting to grow their own food. And because I've been doing this for 40 some years, uh, I uh, offer my services to uh, help people learn about gardening. And uh, we've started many gardens other than the ones here for as, as an educational effort to promote local food. Mm -hmm.